Okay, so it's definitely worthwhile you uh, getting onto either Desmos or Autograph or some other graphing package and drawing y equals a over x and then letting a change, so trying different values of a just to kind of see what changing that a will actually do. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, in this video is look at two examples of where I need to sketch y equals 2 over x and y equals 5 over x on the same graph and y equals minus 3, x, 3 over x and y equals minus 8 over x on the same graph. Okay, so that's uh, what I want to go through. So really we want to know what will that 2 and that 5 do differently to the graph? How is it changing the graph? We know from the previous video that y equals 1 over x looks something like this. Okay? So what happens when I change the 1? Okay, so first of all, let's look at y equals 2 over x. So let's plot some points. Uh, we'll have x's, 2 over x, and 5 over x. And let's do one big table. So if we start at minus 2, we'll have minus 3 halves, minus 1, minus a half, 0, uh, 1 half, 1, 3 halves, and 2. Okay? So then we've got 2 over x, so 2 over minus 2 will be minus 1. 2 over minus 3 halves will be minus 4 thirds. 2 over minus 1 is minus 2. 2 over minus a half is minus 4. 2 over 0 is undefined. Uh, 2 over a half is uh, 4. And then we'll have 2, 4 thirds, and 1. And for 5 over x, we'll have 5 over minus 2, so minus 5 halves. Uh, 5 over minus 3 halves will be minus 10 thirds. Uh, 5 over minus 1 is minus 5. 5 over minus a half will be uh, 10, uh, minus 10. And then we'll have undefined when we divide by 0. Then 10, 5, 10 thirds, and 5 halves. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So these are the y values for each of the graphs. So you'll notice that the y values for the 5 over x um, are all greater than those for the 2 over x. So whereas 2 over x, if I draw that one in blue, whereas that one will look something like this, Okay, the red one, okay, 5 over x, because all of the y values are larger than it, that means that it will be over the top. Okay, so something like that. So this is my y equals 5 over x, and this one here is y equals 2 over x. Okay, so what's happening is that because you're changing that value of a, that value in the numerator, and it's getting larger, that means that the y values will be getting larger because you're multiplying 1 over x by a larger and larger number. So just think of it as 1 over x times 2 and 1 over x times 5. So what's happening is that it's stretching it uh, parallel to the y-axis, okay? So it's pulling all of the values away from the x-axis, okay? So that it just stretches it out. So the larger the value in the numerator, the further it is away from the x-axis, okay? And that's how we can draw one on top of the other like that. So if we look at number two, we've now got to have a think about what that minus sign is going to do. Okay, we have an idea about um, what the number, the larger number in the numerator is doing, but what does the minus do? Uh, how is it going to change that graph? 
Well, if we just think about drawing y equals minus 1 over x, well, let's leave that one there, and let's draw y equals minus 1 over x underneath. Well, what's going to happen is that all of the y values that you had previously will be made negative. So these values here that were positive will be made negative. So that part of the graph will now be down here. This part of the graph that was negative will be made positive by putting that minus sign in front. And so the graph will look something like that. OK, so this is what that minus sign will do. So if I've got to sketch y equals minus 3 over x and y equals minus 8 over x, let's say that this is my blue graph. So the blue one will look something like that. And the red one, minus 8 over x, will be stretched above it, like so. OK? And that's how we can sketch these reciprocal graphs. OK? So the minus sign, what that's telling us what the minus sign does, it effectively reflects the graph in the x-axis, but you could also see it as reflecting it in the y-axis. They will be both equivalent in this uh, case. And then the number that is in the numerator, the larger it is, uh, the further it, the graph will be pulled away from the x-axis.